Hey friend, thanks for coming back to my channel today. So I'm super excited to share with you guys a new resource that I've grabbed from Evan Moore. Um, it is their steam books that come from their skill sharpeners line. If you are new, <laughs> then let me just tell you, number one, I am a huge Evan Moore fan. I am what you would call like an eclectic homeschooler. A lot of our subjects come from all different publishers, but Evan Moore is one of my tried and true go-to publishers because they are always super affordable. You can get one subject or you can get the whole breadth of your homeschool subjects from them. Um, their books are simple, easy to understand. Their units are concise and straightforward. I just, I have such a love for Evan Moore and the cons or the products that they provide for homeschoolers at such an affordable price. So this one is no different. Um, so I'm going to walk through this with you guys and kind of just show you what it is and why I grabbed it. Um, again, it's that steam units or are they called STEM? I call them steam, but anyway, and it's part of their skill sharpeners family. Again, I love skill sharpeners. I've got a ton of Evan Moore products here on my channel and a ton of skill sharpeners. So if you don't know my love for them before, then hopefully this video will show you how I love them now. So hopefully it will be helpful for you if you're looking into this to see if it's something you want to incorporate into your homeschool, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so um, I grabbed this book to kind of go along with some of our other science books that I got from Evan Moore for our upcoming school year. They were having a sale and I have always had a love for Evan Moore, so I just kind of grabbed a bunch of books. And this one is something that I've never tried before. And so because I had never tried it, I went with the third grade level. My student will be in fourth grade next year. And after looking at it, I think that you can choose um, one book to kind of go with a lot of students. So next year I'm going to have a preschooler. I will have, well, he'll be four and then my first grader and my fourth grader. And I'm planning on using this third grade book for both my first and my fourth. So that you take that as you want to, but I think that you could probably grab one of those middle grade books and be able to hit a couple of your students all at the same time. Now, this book is published in pre-K through sixth grade. So if you have several students that kind of fit in that realm, pick one, maybe two levels, and then you can hit all of your kids kind of all together instead of having to divide and conquer. So First and foremost, there's that. Number two. So if you don't know, STEAM was new to me. I've heard of STEM, which is without the A, science, technology, engineering, and math. And this A section included art. My kiddo, my fourth grader going into fourth, is very interested in art right now. He loves to draw and to create and kind of all those artsy hands-on activities. Um, and he's always been like that for quite some time. He even wants to do whatever my preschooler is doing. So I really was excited about this because it includes that art portion of it. So if you don't know, um, a STEAM unit is going to be one that's going to solve a real life problem and allow creativity to solve that problem. So within each of these books, there are nine units and they all cover, like I said, real world problems. So for example, this one, unit one is about litter. Unit two is difficult work. Wildlife camera, feelings at home, wildfires, small farms, clutter, therapy objects, and rising sea levels are going to be your nine topics. This is the table of contents here. I know you can't read that, but each of the units are going to come with five sections. You will have a real life connection, an art connection, math and engineering connection, a career spotlight. I thought that was kind of cool. And then the STEAM task, which is going to be some kind of art inspired creativity to design something. Now, in their STEM books, which I have done before, this is like a difference, compare and contrast, if you will, um, then it was a creation project, but I remember like we built a dam when we were learning about beavers and that sort of thing, and our dam had to hold for two minutes, I think. Um, so this one I've noticed is a little bit more creative because, for example, in the first one, you're going to be designing a safety vest for like a cleanup project or something like that. Um, so you get to design and it talks about like you need to know the color, you need to know 
kind of, what kind of slogans would you put on there? Maybe like a logo or something. Um, it says even right here, like look at pictures of logos and sketch some ideas of your own creative logo. So my kid's going to love this because he's very like art brained right now. And so I thought it was kind of a fun way that we can touch on just real life problems and then be able to talk about it. So as I mentioned, oh, and there's another one. Let me show you in just a second. Um, so let me just show you really quick. Um, in each of the units, there is a reading and then there's a writing component and then there's like an art activity component, okay? So here's a reading component you can see here. Um, it's not terribly long, just a good little chunk of, as you're beginning to learn about an area that had litter and how they solved that problem. And here's just your writing component where you're gonna talk about that and figure out what is the problem and what's a solution. And now we're gonna learn about litter in general. Like what is the the bigger picture of litter? Whereas the first reading was one specific example, here is some reading about the bigger picture. Please notice color. These are photo illustrate, like photo pictures that are gonna talk about it. Um, so again, I love Evan Moore. I think they do a great job of presenting the content. For the next page here, again, in our litter unit, we're going to be doing an art activity. Um, and it tells you to collect things like construction paper tape, scissors, paint, paint brushes, cotton balls, and blue. And you'll need four recyclable items. Um, and then they talk about what is recyclable, glass, paper, metal, and plastic. And then they have some pictures here of people who have creative art out of these recyclable items. So it gives you kind of a good little like introduction and then it says go and create something arty, artsy. They give you a page to sketch your idea and then there's a little math connection here. I've forgotten about that because it's engineering and math. So the math connection is talking about um, each of the containers and how they are, how many years it takes for them to decompose and if, and then they'd like make that into math problems. So that's kind of fun. Here is your engineering connection in regards to litter. It's going to talk about how engineers try to figure out how they can dispose of the waste in a way that will not harm the environment. So that's awesome. Um, and now your career spotlight is talking about dirty jobs and which reminds me of a show. I don't know. It's probably the Discovery Channel maybe, but they have a show called Dirty Jobs. So that would be kind of a fun thing to incorporate in this unit is to you know, pull up one of those episodes that kind of correlates and watch dirty jobs with your, uh, with your students. So that's kind of fun. Um, and then again, they've got those photos down on the bottom and here is the description and instructions for that art activity where you're going to be creating a research or you're going to creating a safety vest for the activity. So anyway, all of the units are exactly, they're set up all the same. Um, and they're, color coded so you know when one unit ends and the next unit begins um but it's just really cool so the second one which is difficult work you're going to be okay so for this one you're going to be creating uh helping a village in africa that's going through a rainy season and you're going to design a laundry house that will hang laundry to dry and protect it from the rain that's kind of fun um so anyway that's this book. I love, love, love that it's real world connections. We're talking about different cultures, different people, different parts of the world who have different problems than we do. It takes us out of this like quiet world here in our home in central Utah where everything is, you know, going the way that we're used to. And it just brings us outside of ourselves. The opportunity for field trips, like get your creative bank going. Your field trip options are endless here. If you want to go to the dump, you know, during the litter one, you can take your kids to, um, Anyway, lots of different things, and I highly, highly recommend this book. It is super affordable as far as um, just curriculum in general. So check that description box below. I am going to be combining this book with some of their other science books that they have, and I will mention those in an upcoming curriculum video when I share all of our curriculum choices for this coming year. Um, but anyway, 
Hopefully this was just like a great introduction to a new resource that Evan Moore is offering. Again, the description box below will have a link for that if you want to go over there and check it out even further um, and grab yourself one for your students as well. So anyway, thanks again for watching this video. I have a lot of content here about Evan Moore videos and all of that kind of curriculum that we've been using here on our side of the mountain. So hopefully you can find something that will help you in your homeschool journey. So thanks so much guys and we will catch you in another one.